Hello and welcome to RD Tech. On the bench, Marshall JCM 800-2203X reissue. She's in for her 100,000 mile service. <laughs> um, yeah, bone stock. Um, I've just fired her up, put on the bias probes to see where she's living. Uh, Variax at 200 and 40, just under 240. Put in just under 0.6 milliamps of current. Or, yeah, 0.6 of an amp, sorry. So on the bias probes, we are showing, sorry, it's going one, two, three, four, across the four power tubes. We've got 34 on the outside. 25, 27, 37, right. So the two outer ones, pulling a bit more than the inner ones. And she is stable climbing. Hmm. We'll keep her on there for a bit. This is just a very quick early switching on. Um, few things we I have noticed when taking this out of the chassis, um, not out of the box, head box. Um, under here, I don't know if you can see it, this cap has got a nasty bulge on it. Um, yeah, and there's little nicks on them. Um, That bulgy cap is of mild cause for concern. Um, I know that valve's in a little bit wonky if it's in my bias probes. Um, um, so, definitely going to be replacing that one. It, everything seems to be pulling okay on the meters. But, um, that one's definitely going to go. Um, may end up doing it actually cost effectively um, replacing these caps they're not silly money um, you can get JJ versions of these caps which are very good um, we can um, we'll, we'll do the whole lot I think something to watch let's just check so these readings here really are nothing without knowing the plate currents so what have we got 445 446 volts so 39% is our max safe 33 and these ones are not pulling particularly well okay so this has only been on for sort of 15 minutes or so we really needed to be on for half an hour or so, 40 minutes to really know where she, where, where the, the land lies really. But other than that, um, that's it for now. We'll come back, uh, we'll be back in about 20 minutes. Okay, this is only five, five, six minutes later. So where are we at? Woohoo, right, we're at 43 and 40 on the outer two pairs um, and we are already over 70 percent there so what we need to do we shall readjust the bias because it could be just drift due to age let's bring it down so she's Safe. Wow, I am almost. Oh, that one's still pulling forty. I 
Okay, I'm a minimum, I'm at the actually absolute minimum now on the uh, dial, on the uh, bias dial, which is that fella there. And we're only just 39.2 is our limit. And we're at 39.2. So we have got nowhere left to go on that. Let's just double check plate voltages. 447, they've crept up, which is not normally what happens. Oh yeah, it will crept up, sorry, I've turned it down here. So, that one's safe. These are now cold. And this one, yeah, she's still climbing. As it settles down, so, We've probably got a bad tube. We, what, what I will do is I'll move the two outs to the inside and move the insides on the outs and just see. So this one will go in here. This is our problem one. I think it's either this one or this one. I know it's on the outer side. But yeah, we'll swap them on the middle and then we'll see if this current draw follows them around. Right. Uh, yeah, look, we're just hitting 41 now and I've got, I can't dial that down anymore. Um, so she's she's drifting off. Right, let's do a swap seat. Well, I've just swapped those over, just move move the outsides on the entire insides. But uh, hopefully, you can get a better picture of that bulging capacitor there. E nasty. That one's really bouncy and they're crispy on the inside. So. Um, I think it might be time, we will, I will go ahead and order a full set of these, we'll just recap the son of a bitch, um, it's going to need it, uh, right, but let's switch it back over whilst it's still fairly warm and get the bias readings again, okay, she's warming up again, right, so, number four originally was pulling way too much, so, four is now three, three is now four, one is now two, two is now one. So it was the two out ones. So the two inner ones, two and three, should now be pulling more. So now number four is pulling quite low. Position three, there she goes, she's climbing up. Position two is now the higher of the one and two. Yeah. So that confirms this tubes. And there it is, folks. Boom. There we go, six caps replaced. That was difficult. You got a real workout lifting and spinning this thing over and backwards and forwards so as you're changing each one. My God, this thing's heavy after a while. But yeah, all done. Next, we'll first we'll fire it up without any valves in and just make sure I haven't wired something wrong and we've got a short. So that'll be next. Some days later, a replacement set of power valves um, arrived for this, the six CA7s. As you'll remember, the first set, I had one that was pulling way too much and would run away, and one was really low. Like So there was a 10, 11 milliamp difference between the lowest and the highest. Too much for my liking. They went back, and Hot Rocks graciously swapped them out and asked them to give me a really a cold set because the bias voltage on this I was at the minimum and today this has now been on for a good half an hour 40 minutes and look at what we've got here so this pair over here the highest one is 33 and 31 going to the other pair 31 on the inside 33 on the outside absolutely perfect two mini amps difference that's what we want and this thing has been sat rock solid that will drift up and down depending on what comes out of the wall and I'm drifting between 239 241 and obviously this will mimic that um, these are set at about 62 63 percent dissipation for idle you know me conservative well only in respect to amplifiers um, so if the voltage goes up or anything we've got plenty of room to play with 
and a good hot stage. It's great, it's perfect. Very happy. Time to put this on the cab and then play with the circuit a little bit and throw some bypass caps on the preamp valves to eke a little more out of this baby. Simple mod and can do, can give you um, some slightly different tones. We don't want to drastically change this. This is a great sounding amp, but um, what I'll do when I muck around with it, it'll probably just be the phone, the phone microphone, um, and then I'll do a proper demo through the load and straight into the desk. Oh, that. Okay, here it is, all done now. Um, I did do a couple of mods, um, just for some gain increases. Um, I think we'll call this an 80s style mod. Um, just gives you a bit more gain, a bit more hair, and then a bit later on I had to sort of tame it a bit, just to keep it from going a bit silly. Um, so, anyway, head into the load, into the computer. Um, we're running the master volume at about three. So this would be pretty loud in the room, um, but that's where she starts to open up a bit. Um, treble, a bit difficult to see because these are old knobs on here. It's been a bit beat up. Uh, let's start it all at about five on everything. Gain at five. So with this mod, you get a bit more of that. It sounds a bit more like a modded plexi as opposed to an 800. So, but it still keeps that martial character. You can hear the high end and that bite. That's all part of it. Um, so we can adjust the taste there. Here it's much more of a, a plexi gain. Um, let's give it a bit of that. Eight on the dial. So the top end you get that that sort of brown sound plexi but in the low end it still remains tight and chuggy <laughs> still bite. <laughs> About eight is definitely the sweet spot. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
<coughs> yes, I'm liking that a lot. Uh, maybe that one Let's try. <laughs> thirties. So I think with those little mods and this and also using six CA sevens in the in the power stage, it's it's you getting you that almost Appetite sound. Vintage 30 might for more of a metal style. <laughs> Yeah. 